guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with another favorites video. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit raspy or if I'm gonna talk a little bit quieter today because if you guys haven't been following all my stories, I pretty much had a really great week with my friends who came to visit from Toronto and I just spent too much time laughing and talking. Now we're in this situation where I have been drinking hot lemon water with honey for the past week and my voice and throat still really hurts. But anyway, for today's video, I have a lot of great items. We have some usual categories and we also have some exciting ones. The first category that I actually wanted to start off with is organization and this one's a little bit special to me and also a little bit nervous to me because this one I actually made myself. So I pretty much started creating my own digital products and the first one I want to share with you guys is actually my desktop wallpaper. The reason why I wanted to share this one first is because this is my first time selling my own product so I just hope that this goes well. I want to kind of test it out with you guys if you guys are interested and also this one is the one that I use the most and I find that is the most beneficial. Pretty much what it is is I created my own desktop wallpaper. It actually segments your icons for you on your desktop. I just find that ever since I started doing this it's honestly organized my desktop so well especially at work. So I have this on both my work and my personal laptop. The categories include work in progress, completed, etc and it's just made it a lot easier for me to kind of put my icons and documents in the right places. It also helps me mentally have a check of what I have and what needs to be done because I don't know about you guys, but before my desktop was so messy and I was always constantly trying to look for things. And sometimes I would have things that I need to do and I forget that I still need to do it. So this has been so great. And this has actually gone through a couple of iterations because the first one, I actually tried having the monthly calendar, but then I realized number one, I don't actually change my desktop that often so eventually I took it out also because whenever I look at the calendar I actually don't really look at like a blank calendar like that if I'm gonna look at my calendar I'm gonna just look at the full calendar app so I ended up taking that out because I realized it wasn't as useful and I just need the categories there all the time anyway it is now available for purchase on my website so you guys can shop the link below it's just getaway.com slash shop and you guys are able to see it that's gonna be the first digital product that I'm gonna release if you guys are are interested in any of the other ones that I've made please let me know and I'm thinking about maybe selling my presets because a lot of people ask me how I edit my photos so I might sell some of my presets online as well maybe I will announce that in the next month's video the other thing I wanted to note is if you are planning on buying the desktop wallpaper it is in USD but it's not a lot so even if you are Canadian and you're planning to buy it the conversion rate I believe is just a little bit you can even use your PayPal to buy and if there's any questions you know shoot me an email at getaway.help at gmail.com and we'll help you with any of the issues with shopping. This is, like I said, my very first product that I'm selling. So, you know, please try to understand and hopefully we won't have that many problems. I don't think there should be any problems. There aren't gonna be any refunds just because it is a digital product. So the minute you buy it, you're gonna get the product already. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys do end up buying it, I hope you guys enjoy because honestly, it's helped me so much with my desktop organization. I used to be a mess and this has been the only thing that's kind of solved my issue. Okay, so anyway, moving on to some of the more common categories that I usually do. The next one, I am gonna just jump right into my Majuri favorites of the month. The first one is these earrings that I got. This is gonna be part of their new Charlotte collection. So I believe they just launched it a few days ago, like end of September. So this is really, really cute because it kind of looks like their croissant collection, but I find that it's not as curvy. Like, you know how the croissant kind of has the edge of like fat and it goes a little bit thinner. The Charlotte collection, I believe, is a little bit just more thick all around instead of curving down. This is not the only product of the collection, but this one is the one that I got. And you guys can see I paired it with my bold hoops and then these are the Charlotte ones. The Charlotte ones are actually gold vermeil, so I do take it off every night and then the bold hoops, I just haven't taken it off as you guys know. Well, actually I did in order to switch it to my second hole, but these ones I do take off more frequently and sometimes Maybe I forget, but like it's been good. 
It's like a really nice statement-y earring that I just feel like looks super, super cute and also just goes with everything. Like today I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I feel like it still kind of looks great with these sweatshirts. So I highly recommend. The second Majuri product that I'm gonna be recommending today is the Bold Stacker. It is this ring right here. So in my middle finger, not this one, I layered it. So it's this one right here. And this is what it looks like. It is just such a great stacking piece. You can stack it with any small dainty ring. You can wear it on its own. It is just such a great bold ring. And of course it's solid gold. If you guys have watched my previous favorites video, I bought three rings from Bobble Bar, including these two small ones. And another one looked kind of like this, but the issue is all three of those are gold vermeil. So I wasn't able to not take it off. Ever since I got that, I realized, you know, these are such classic pieces. I should probably just have it in solid gold. So I got it from a jury and now I never take it off and it just looks really good with these dainty stackings these two right here that I have from Madrid these are both gold vermeil and they're more statementy on the days that I want to feel a little bit more low-key I just wear the more dainty rings like on this hand right here so anyway I think it's such a great investment and such a great layering piece so highly recommend the next set of products is by verb and if you guys follow me on Instagram you are not gonna be surprised that this has made it to this this month's video because I have been talking about it non-stop. If you guys didn't know, in the last month I've been really focusing on my natural curl journey. So this is actually a hundred percent my own natural curl. I have not touched heat ever since I got my hands on these Verve products. I'm here to share with you my final feedback on these products. Okay, so with the Verve line, I got a total of four products. I got the shampoo. I also got the conditioner. I will show you guys what it looks like in a second. The curl cream and also the leave-in conditioner. This is what the shampoo and conditioner looks like. This has pretty similar packaging to the other shampoo that I got, which you guys have seen in my Verve favorites video. The curl cream just looks like this and this is the leave-in conditioner my feedback after trying you know a combination of everything like just using the shampoo and conditioner just using the curl cream just using whatever it is so my final feedback is when you use the full line this is when your hair looks the most i would say defined at the optimum so the first few days that i use it i would use all four consistently and stuff but then at one point i went to tofino and i didn't want to bring such a large pack of stuff so i ended up having to choose and i only brought the curl cream and it still did its work but i feel like two things number one it wasn't as defined and big and then the second thing is that it got frizzy a lot faster which made me realize that the curl leave-in conditioner actually is extremely important because that dryness and that drying feeling or that look you will get it if you only use the curl cream so you do need to use these two together the shampoo and conditioner just enhances the curls even more i feel like if you have to just buy you know one or two products i would definitely go with these two first i will show you a picture of when i used both this is also when i used all four the other times when i only use one or two i'll show you a picture of that it doesn't look as defined so if you want the optimum you gotta try every single one of them but if you have to prioritize I would definitely prioritize these two because these are ultimately what you style with when your hair is damp so I've been really happy with my hair like I don't know if you guys have been watching my stories but if you did then you know that I have never worn my hair naturally ever I was actually talking to my co-workers and they were like I never thought I would see the day where you don't heat your hair and I'm like same because I've been heating my hair every single day or on days when I don't it just looks so blah like I will show you another picture of what that looks like but now I'm just so happy with my hair and I just feel so natural it also takes no time for me to get ready now I just do my face and honestly all this makeup only takes me 20 minutes so it's been great because I don't spend a lot of time doing makeup at all now with my hair I'm so much more low maintenance now even though I'm still high maintenance but you know better than when I was curling my hair every single day the other thing that I do want to mention is if you guys remember in my last video, the last verb video, I showed these two shampoos and conditioners and I was telling you guys how I was absolutely shocked, shook at how little my hair was falling out from the shampoo and conditioner. And I was like, oh, maybe it was 
my lifestyle change or maybe whatever. After getting the curly shampoo and conditioner, I have to say I was right with my first testimony because in comparison with the curl ones, don't get me wrong, it helps with my curls, but when I brush my hair in the shower, there is more fallout. Not significantly, but like significant in a sense that when I use these two, I swear to God, like three strands of hair comes out. And then this is still like a little bit less than back in the day when I was really stressed out and I thought I was having an answer or something. It is still less in terms of that, but like this just has significantly less. So if you're watching this video and you don't have curly hair and you're just up until this point, don't give a shit. Honestly, like this shampoo and conditioner, the hydrating line that I mentioned in the last one and I showed you guys such a little hair in my shower. I actually took my phone in the shower to show you how little comes out. I stand by this testimony because against the same brand other shampoo, this one is so good for fallout that they don't advertise it, but I highly recommend. And as usual, you guys, you can use my code Lisa Way for 10% off or you can use the link below. Both will give you 10% off or you can just type in my name and you'll get 10% off. So the next category is short and sweet. It's on clothing and it's actually this sweater that I'm wearing here today. The reason why I wanted to show you guys this sweater slash crew neck is because number one, it is so cheap. It is $18, guys, $18. What the actual heck? I don't know how much it is in America, but definitely less than $18 because of the conversion rate. But this sweater, crew neck, is so versatile. I feel like it has that look, the expensive Aritzia crew necks and stuff. No, guys, this one does the job. It's from Gildan. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the brand name. I'm sure you guys have all seen it because I'm sure this is the brand that we order all of our Brad sweatshirts from. I'm gonna leave the exact link. You can buy it on Amazon. It's also applicable to Prime. So you will get it in two days. The one that I bought is actually a men's small and I just feel like it's so versatile I just wear it with my bike shorts. If you guys have been following me on Instagram I did this one outfit where it was like, I don't know I didn't even think of this but everyone was commenting like gossip girl vibes kind of the school girl outfit I wore like a dress shirt underneath this crew neck. This is the crew neck guys and it's only $18 What the heck shop the link below for the exact hoodie that I'm talking about. It comes in all different colors so if you're looking for one of those crew necks for your bike shorts, this is it. Cause guys, don't spend that much money on something that you can spend $18 on. I got a men's size small. I could have gone up a size. I would say if you like a more oversized fit, I would go up a size, but a men's small is like good enough for me. I think maybe if I order another one in gray, I would maybe go for a medium. Definitely check that out because it's super cheap. The next product that I want to talk about is a Aesop product. It is the Aesop Citrus Melange body cleansers and I feel like all their packaging more or less looks the same only until you look really up close to see what it looks like. This is my very first Aesop product you guys. I've never used Aesop before. I just have been a huge fan and I always use other people's when I go to their houses and stuff. This body wash is so so nice. It is $60 though. So it is definitely on the pricier side. I feel like when I use this product, I'm treating myself like, do I deserve to rub $60 of body wash on myself? You know what? On a bad day, I'm going to because 2020 sucks and I'm going to do whatever I can to make myself feel better. This is one of those products where I think the first time I was using it, I really tried to like enjoy every second because I felt like I was rubbing gold on my body or something. Like I've never used such an expensive body wash. But the one thing that I will say, one of the first things that I noticed is when I put it on my body, the smell goes like right up your nostril. It like goes so far up. I was like, whoa. First of all, the aroma is so nice. I felt like it cleared my sinuses or something. It just has that very earthy aroma feel. So definitely give this a check out if you guys also feel like treating yourself to some nice body wash because this is really great. I have also been trying three more Aesop products. I'm trying their serum, their facial hydrator, and also their night mask. This is the serum. This is the facial hydrator. This is what it looks like. Lastly, we have the replenishing night mask. This is what it looks like. If you guys didn't know and are wondering how every single month I'm 
I'm able to share a beauty product it is actually because in the beginning of the month, I actually switch up my entire skincare routine and I try different products purposely. I will buy new products or sometimes I'm gifted new products. I will try it one whole month in a row because I don't want to just try it for a few days and not being able to give proper feedback. So I do actually try it for the full month. The body cleanser, I am currently here now. So I'm almost done. So no more treating myself. And then the serum, I'm actually halfway. So this is where I got to for the whole month. And same with the night mask. This is what I use at night. So this is already, you know, kind of dipped in. It would have been more if I use it both morning and night, but I actually use the facial hydrator in the morning. So that's why it was mostly an even distribution. Whereas the serum, I use both night and day. So this is what I have to say about using all of these together at once. Number one, same feedback as the body cleanser. Definitely feel like I'm treating my face to gold every time I'm using this. And I feel so happy because I'm like, oh my God, to what do I owe this pleasure to use these type of products? But also I just have to say that after using it, I think my biggest feedback is number one, great with brightening. Number two, great with hydration. And then lastly, my feedback is I feel like after using these, I didn't feel the need to do as many masks. I'm talking about the once a week type of face mask or the twice a week. So you guys know that I love the Caudalie face mask and I do use that quite often. But after using this, I didn't feel like I needed to use that as much. I think it does have a lot of the same properties. There's vitamin C in here. There's also a lot of these clearing out pores and stuff like that. So for me, it does, I feel like have that dual effect. If you guys also feel like treating yourself, I definitely recommend these Aesop products as well. Okay, so the last two products are in the beauty category and these are on highlighters. The first highlighter I wanna share is actually one by Physicians Formula, what the highlighter looks like. I'm gonna tell you a story about this highlighter because if you guys watch my vlogs, there was this one vlog where I went to Shoppers Drug Mart to buy my eye contact solution and me being me, I went in there and got distracted by the makeup aisle and I almost walked out of Shoppers Drug Mart without my eye contact solution, which was the one thing I went in there for. I actually picked up two highlighters and what's so funny is out of the two highlighters I picked up, it was really like a spontaneous, out of the whim purchase where I actually thought I would like the other highlighter I bought better. And this was such a Lisa is wasting her money decision because when I picked up this highlighter, I looked at the color and I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna like this, but I just kind of feel the urge to spend money today. So I decided to buy it and it turned out to be the best decision of my entire life because this is now my favorite highlighter. And I bought this, by the way. The color is 7040 Translucent Pearl or Mineral Glow Pearls. This is what it looks like. It's just a little bit pinky and whitey. That's kind of why I didn't think I was gonna like it that much because I was like, what is this gonna look like on my skin? And on top of that, this is the first highlighter. Oh no, I kind of ruined it. This is the first highlighter I've seen that comes with a brush at the bottom. So you can even use this to, you know, dabble on your highlighter. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing today if you guys can see and I'm also wearing another highlighter for the sake of this video the one by Fenty Beauty This is also another favorite. This is their diamond bomb highlighter and the difference is I think this one's really good for every day And this one this is not gonna be for everybody I'm just gonna tell you that right now The reason why this is for me though is because I am really extra when it comes to highlighter I believe the more highlighter the better But I know a lot of people don't like to use highlighter because it's not as natural but for me I don't really care I I just really like my highlighter. So this one gives this kaleidoscope effect. I feel like when you see it, you are the glaziest donut. You look delicious. You are just so shiny. You're almost like a disco ball type of effect. If you guys are more into the natural look, this is not the product for you. But if you are trying to go out and you just want to look really, really snatched and like delicious like a donut, then here you go. Oh my God, I borrowed my friend Jessica's, who you guys should know, she's in all my Wants. I borrowed her highlighter the first time and I used it because this doesn't look like a color that you would typically want. But the minute you put it on, it is 
so, so shiny. Anyway, I am a huge highlighter gal, and if you guys are looking for new highlighters, I recommend these ones. This one, of course, more than the Fenty one because number one, more affordable. Number two, it's more for every day, I would say. And the tip here, guys, is you wanna put a little bit more on your Cupid's bow. It just makes you look so much better, like the tip of your nose and your Cupid's bow. It just makes your makeup look so great. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the video today. I'm so sorry if this is much longer than expected and it is all this talking that has put me in this position here today and yet I'm still talking right now. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!